Troy Shea here with Shea.com. We're just going to do a really quick review of a high-end product for another high-end product. This is the uh, Arctic Cooling Twin Turbo 6990 VGA cooler, specifically for the AMD Radeon 6990. Now, you can see the box there. There's the instruction manual. There's the back side, the fin, the radiator that would actually attach to the card. Here's what the front side looks like, just like the box. Uh, these are the paddings, thermal strips, standoffs. That is the thermal grease. Okay, here you can see the settings of my current card. We're running at about 57C. The GPU clock's at 450. The memory clock's at uh, 1250. And the fan speed's at 28%. It's not really loud. In fact, I've got a Dell PowerConnect 2824 switch underneath all my monitors and it's quite a bit louder than my PC but uh, we're gonna go ahead and try the Arctic cooling so the next step will be installing it okay so there's the 6990 out of my case as you can see it's a diamond card and of course all this is gonna go away uh, and there's the back of it so now it's just, uh, time to take off all the screws and uh, go from there okay there is the back panel of the Radeon card there are the uh, retention clips for the GPUs and the screws that were on the back panel as well as two screws that were on the uh, side panel. There's the actual heat sink and fan, stock heat sink and fan assembly. I'm not going to completely turn it over and set it down but I will hold it up to see Radeon back side of it. The card is uh, <laughs> it's actually surprisingly small um, and lightweight. All the bulk is the, the heat sink and the fan assembly. So that's the card. You see the two GPUs outlined in silver. Um, I can only assume that's a physics controller. There's the back of the card. All the memory chips that get hot. They'll have pads on them. They had pads on them. I'll put more pads on them for the new stuff. And uh, that's about it. So... Next step should be you seeing the device on there. I'm going to use my trusty diesel 190 proof alcohol to clean off all the card pad and card thermal grease. And then I will put the new card cooler on from Arctic Cooling. Okay, so the 90 proof alcohol wasn't really getting the job done. So I went ahead and used Arctic Clean. Uh, thermal material remover and then I'll later use the Arctic Clean thermal surface purifier before I go ahead and proceed with the next step of attaching the new Arctic Cool twin turbo cooler. Okay so there's the Arctic Cooling assembly with the pads on it and the thermal grease on it. There is the cleaned off Radeon card. Uh, quick mention about the pads you can see how these three have a, a plastic protective covering on the front that's actually the easy to remove plastic protective covering uh, the hard to remove is on the other side that I've already taken down you do have to take off both sides of the plastic to be able to apply the thermal pads correctly um, these over here come in a strip those four and these four, they come in a strip like those two at the top and bottom. However, the strip is still attached and you've basically got to remove both sets of plastic from the front and the back and then kind of separate them with your fingers to put them in place. So the best bet there would be to use something like nitrile gloves. Uh, next step is to go ahead and put it on the card. That is the finished product. Uh, it's about the same weight as the existing heat sink and fan assembly was turn it over you still use the OEM backing so make sure you're careful with that and the screws uh, otherwise everything else is there um, you will not be using three screws the two that are up here and the one that is right there those three screws will not be used there's just simply no place for them but supposedly this is a uh, much better cooling device. Um, read the reviews, they were awesome. And if you can see the box right there, 220 millimeter, 
PWM fans, 86 fins, unique mounting for AMD Radeon HD 6990, patented fan holder, low noise impeller, 10 heat pipes, RAM and voltage regulator cooling. That was all those pads that we had to put on on the front and the ones that were already existing on the back. So there's the finished product. Uh, we'll take it around and we'll go ahead and put it in that monster of a case, which is insane. But uh, I do like the case for the simple fact that if you look at it, it's it's pretty clean in there. And that's what you get when you get a ATX XL case, which is what this is. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know that the Big Bang Marshall required an XL case, but it did. So I had to go ahead and get an XL case. We'll go ahead and plug this card back in and show you the fan results and temperature in just a minute. Okay, and there's the results. So we're running at 40%, 46% activity. The clock's at 880. The memory's at 1250. Uh, and the temperature's 29. I mean, uh, 59 Celsius, and the fans are at 29%. So there you have it. It looks like it's a little bit better. We're running hot, but uh, the card's staying cool. There you go. That's been the review on the... Uh, Arctic Cool Accelero Twin Turbo 6990 VGA Cooler for Enthusiasts. Thank you very much, and be sure to check out Shea.com.